hello guys uh, welcome back to another tutorial so in our previous video we talked about uh, resection in this tutorial we are going to talk about uh, intersection so basically we use intersection for points which we cannot uh, physically occupy with uh, a total station so you want to calculate coordinates for that point from other known points so you cannot set a machine on top of that point but you can observe to that point so basically you want to calculate the coordinates of the radio mast you can use intersection from uh, two known points so you set your machine on a known point then observe to the intersection point then you move to another point and take observation so from there you can calculate the coordinates of that point so in today's tutorial we're going to demonstrate how to do uh, intersection calculation so i'm using uh, my previous coordinate file here so i'm gonna create a new general observation file in which we are going to uh, save our observations so let me create a new general observation file okay let me say open them so we are going to set uh, uh, a new name let's say um, let's say f f1 so that's the name of the the point that you want to uh, reset so let me open it right from there we said you set your machine on a non point so we have to uh, set our machine on a non point which means our observation code here is uh, 0 2 then you input the name of that point let's say from I'm using TR56 then uh, the instrument height there is uh, let's set it to 0 0.34 right now we have our uh, setup station then we observed to uh, TR102 so TR102 right now we are observing we are orienting so let's go there so this is an orientation observation to a fixed point so because this one is a non point so the code here is an orientation so let's say tr102 then the horizontal angle for this point was 178 uh, 36.21 then uh, the vertical angle there is zero. Then the um, instrument light also is zero. So we have we have zero here. Right. Right. Let's add another point. We have uh, an observation to point TR103. So TR103. Sorry, 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 sorry. Point name there is TR103. Then the horizontal angle to this point. Uh, let me change observation code to 04. Then the horizontal angle, we have 73. 29 then uh, 52 so yeah we don't have the slope distance uh, there um, also have another point uh, this is the point that you want to fix so I want to fix a uh, point f1 so it has to have uh, 0, 06 because this is the point that we want to uh, calculate the coordinates for. So 
F1 there an observation uh, horizontal angle there was 203 uh, we have 34 and uh, 04 then uh, the vertical angle 91 uh, 47 and then uh, 53 then uh, the target height was 1.56 right so so this is the first uh, set from uh, TR56 now we are let's go to another point uh, let me just check my code and file do I have TR156 yes TR156 so let, let's go to TR156 so this now is another point the 02 TR156 then their instrument height is 0 0.33 so it's another set of stations. So let me fast forward. I'll just add uh, uh, a few set of uh, observations from there. Then we can continue to do our calculation. So from here, uh, we have a full set of observations. So the first setup is uh, TR56, then TR156, then TR102 and lastly TR103. So you see from each setup station an observation to uh, F1 was made from each setup station. So from here we have F1, then from this setup we, we oriented using these two known points, then we observed F1 again. The same applies to TR102 and TR103. So now that I have uh, the general observation file, we use the list squares module. So you go to list squares, then we want to intersect uh, Y, X, and Z. So you click intersect there. So I'm using uh, an observation file so make sure this is ticked then uh, name of the point to be fixed is F1 uh, this is the point that you want to calculate uh, the coordinates for then also we are observed uh, we are starting from uh, the first line to the last line so click proceed from here then so this is the result of our, our calculated coordinates of uh, point uh, f1 so we have seen that uh, we have oriented using uh, these known points so we get uh, the most uh, probable value of uh, F1. So the Y value there is uh, 14093.2706. Then the X is uh, 45298.8463. Then also we have uh, the approximate height uh, the approximate elevation of this point there is one three nine one point six six three then we have a plus or minus a zero point zero four so that's how it calculates the coordinates of a point uh, using uh, intersection we also get uh, the standard deviation uh, then we also have uh, the bearing cuts uh, at the Y and at the X so basically that's how you do intersection with SEPAC 
so from here we can save our point so let's click save so once we click save if we go back to our to our coordinate file you can see that we do have a point here uh, the point is added as f1 so that's it for today uh, check out my next video uh, we'll be continuing with our uh, setback uh, computations so make sure to subscribe to my channel so that every time I drop a video you get notified and you can be the first to see the content so please uh, make sure to comment uh, to leave questions and also like the video thanks for watching